David Bizard here, and you are watching Paratech 10. This edition of Paratech 10 is one of those that I said I would put in about every third video, just as a catch-up deal. So here we go. Big news so far is I am well on the way to doing a new series which will help everybody select camshafts. I'm going to call it something like David Visard's Camshaft Selection Center. What will happen is, is various charts will come up and I'll point out how to use the charts and things like this and I guarantee it's about 300% more accurate than what you get in catalogs. And the beauty of it is you won't have to bother the cam company. It will come complete with a camshaft and all the parts needed to do the rest of the valve train, springs, locks, etc. The one I'm going to publish first is the Ford one. Now, those regular viewers of mine will remember I gave Ford Motor Company something of a bashing on their, what's it, 303 camshaft. If you didn't see this title here, then read it. And this is where I tear that Ford cam a new butt. Next on the agenda is showing how I put the front cover on and the rest of the valve train, the lifters, push rods, and of course I'll put the heads on and show how the rockers are adjusted. Uh, next one is, this is a humdinger. How would you like me to reveal the secret of GM's V10 engine? I happen to know the, uh, well, it's an acquaintance rather than a friend. I happen to know have met the guy that designed the LS engine way back when, right? And unfortunately, I can't remember his name, and that's due to my brain surgery, and again, I apologize, but uh, one of the things I remember about this guy is not only did he seem like a really knowledgeable engineer, boy, he knew how to dress. That suit he had on, and I'm going back now 25 years, that suit he had on probably didn't come in for less than a couple of grand right he really looked up market anyway the thing was he was also involved in this v10 project which i'll tell you about now i've had a number of people mostly friends of mine asking me how i'm get, getting on with the uh heads i'm doing for our 454 small block well this is it in the background here and I've managed to improve on it a little bit. I'll be showing you that plus a little more of the uh, Flowbench program so that you can see exactly how I'm using it to help me along here. Now remember, I've got to try and compete with Don's numbers and Don at Ultra Pro is, you know, if I called him a professional, that might be undermining his, uh, his capability here. He is really good at porting cylinder heads. I mean, even in the professional ranks, he comes out pretty much up there toward the top of the pile, if not the top of the pile. But anyway, managed some success with that head and you'll see what I did. Now, what else is on the agenda? Oh yes, um, porting a set of dart heads to go on our 396. Now, we're porting these, and it's not a complex porting. You could do it at home if you follow my instructions, right? But they're being ported for the maximum torque and a target of 585 horsepower from our 396. So follow along on that, and you'll see that these dark platinum heads are pretty good pieces to port. Now, that means it's a good idea to look out for some used ones, but make sure they're the platinum heads, right? I've had 
That's not to say the previous ones of that don't work well, but the platinum head seemed to be just a tad better for just what is not much more than a super cleanup job. So that's where we're at on that. Now, anything else? I think you'll have to wait and see down the road, but there's some more exciting stuff coming up. With that, I will leave you, but don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and notify. Right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.